buy yourself some more stuff because we all need more stuff. Why is there so much crinkle sound? How do I open? Hey, hello, team. My name is Monique. Welcome back to The Cauldron. And I know it has been a little while, but I am back yet again with another Lumicrate unboxing. <music> you didn't know this is a book which is my channel and you may have noticed that i have a slight aficionado that's not the right word i have a slight addiction to book buying and i have a slight attachment to book box subscriptions which is a newer addiction but it still holds firm and i especially love illumicrate which is a uk subscription box that sends out a new hardcover release every month they send it out with uh, about five or six fandom inspired items or just sort of like aesthetically pleasing items and as a bookworm it is possibly the best gift i have ever given myself so i will obviously continue to give myself this gift over and over and over again this is the april box it was a little bit late because of one of the items being stuck in customs but here we are i may or may not have already opened it and looked at everything but i am still very excited about sharing it with you guys so let's do it so the theme of april was dearly departed and each theme is always uh, mainly connected to the new hardback release but it is also sort of introducing some of the fandoms that mm, the other items may have been inspired by i will as always leave a link to illumicrate down below i will also leave instagram handles or just the name of the artist if they are mentioned in here and then you can go check them out buy yourself some more stuff because we all need more stuff or not you know but let's just jump into the unboxing of the stuff that i can share with you yay also i'm wearing a fairy loot hat because i finally watching shadow and bone but i actually got my girlfriend to watch it with me so i can't power watch it but it's very exciting because she's not really into fantasy and i want her to be into fantasy you know what i mean so let's see first item Okay, ooh, I don't think I know. Things are falling down. You are very crinkly. Why is there so much crinkle sound? How do I open? Here's a heart. Why? Mm. Okay, so this... That hides sound well. This is a Nevernight inspired... I think it's like a TBR box you can have on top of your tbr cart it's very cute with crows and black cats and too many books too few centuries which is a very true staple thing this is very cute i'm excited about hopefully finding somewhere to put it but yeah then you're meant to sort of put your your tbr inside or your i'm guessing your immediate tbr because my whole tbr will definitely not fit in here but ooh, it'll be good for a monthly tbr but this is cute should I figure out who has made the design possibly? So the design is by someone named Fez Inkwright and they are Ross Deter. 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 I'm going to leave it a link down below. So yes, first one. Good. Next. I'm very excited about this. So Illumicrates has for the last, I think, six months to a year been making these ceramic book tins and i have three of them there are four of them out there i really want to find the last one but this one which you can see but you can also see the fact that i actually am using my ring light today this is the book of the dead it is inspired by egyptian mythology it says necromancy resurrection immortality and then it has anubis there and like a scarab scarab eh? is that just in danish i don't know but yeah, no, I love this. It's super cool for putting pens in. I have them on my desk. I absolutely love them. They're just, oh, they're just so cute. And these are just very, very pretty. I'm pretty sure it's uh, Chaddy Nora who does the design for these. Then we got a, oh, it's a mason jar. It's a mason jar with a lion on it saying Jack's Restaurant. Oh, I believe this is inspired by The Beautiful by Renee Adia, which I enjoyed but wasn't super crazy about. So I don't actually have the book, but it's a good mason jar. And I do like the lion. Can you even see that? Should I be doing this without my ring light? But now we've started, so we got to stay. <laughs> okay. Mm. 
Yes, okay, so I don't know if this is a new thing that Illumicrate is doing sometimes, but this is um, magnets with two of my favorite babies in the entire world. So first up, we got um, Gideon and Harrow. Look at the babies. It also says we do bones at the bottom. Can you see that? It's stunning. And then, yeah, okay. And then we have another one. Ugh, so good. So it's also Gideon and Harrow. These are both from the um, Locked Tomb trilogy, or as they're also called, Gideon the Ninth and Harrow the Ninth, which is two of my favorite books of all time. It has necromancies, it has lesbian, they are in space. It's wonderful. And I just, oh my god, look at this face. Can you can you appreciate this beautiful face? I just, I would lay down my life for Gideon. I, I really would, for Griddle. I would do it. I'd die. Oh, these makes me so happy. Oh, they're so pretty. <laughs> Yay, my babies. Ooh, okay. I think these come with the books. Very beautiful um, double-sided bookmarks. I believe they're characters in the book of the month. Very, very, very excited about this month's book as well. Oh, okay. No, wait. We have a tiny thing. Okay, so we have a keychain for Scythe by... What's his name? I can't remember. It's the one where all the illnesses in the entire world has been sort of sorted out. So they have specific people who can go around killing people. And it says, I can barely read that. I ain't waiting for an opportunity. I am making one. Yeah, it's a tiny sky. Cool. I haven't read sky yet or the trilogy because some people really love it some people don't really care i don't know if i've sort of left behind some of my dystopia um like ideas but yeah i do actually have like two items though from illumicrate that are kind of funky with this sky thing it's also have a bottle opener it's very cool and then before i show you guys the book i'm going to show you the pin because i always forget about the pin existing but this is the pin inspired by this month's book it is a skull but it's made of flowers it's super oh that's upside down it's a skull but it's made of flowers it's super cute i literally love this it's adorable open you up open you up so this is the book of the month. This is In the Ravenous Dark by A.M. Strickland. This is a sort of a dark, gritty fantasy. I know that we have um, pansexual rep in here. I believe we have some polyamory as well. And I believe that we are following a young woman. Oh my God, that is stunning. I believe we are following a young woman who has sort of been hiding her magic because she does not want to be forced into servitude. However, she suddenly does something. I believe she's trying to save a family member or something. And she suddenly gets sort of brought into having to deal with ghosts and spirits. And I just, i really excited about reading it. But look at the sprayed edges. Look at that stencil. Look at them flowers. And then we're going to look inside. Oh my god. Oh my god. So this is the very, very stunning author letter that we, as usual, get with the book. Illumicrate is always really good about getting the authors like to be like interactive with us. It's really, really great. This is so pretty. Oh my god. All of the gothic feelings. I am here for them. And then I'm going to show you these are the inside pages. Oh my lord, why is this so pretty? Are you feeling that good polyamory feeling? It's just, mmm. Oh, we got a nice red underneath. Just quite a chill spine. Do we have anything on the back? It's the same artwork as in the front. I believe that it was meant to have a signed book plate with it, but they are missing the book plates currently, so they might be sent out like later. But you know what? I am still quite in love with this book in itself. So I'm, I'm very, very, very excited about reading it because it just looks absolutely amazing. On the back it says, she loves a princess. She's bound to Aurora. She must betray them both. Betrayal. Yes. Mm. Even better than enemies to lovers is enemies to lovers to back to enemies. Just the goodness. Mm, mm, goodness. Yes. Okay. So this was the absolutely marvelous uh, April box from Illumicrate. 
all of this was so good i obviously especially just love the gideon the ninth merch someone make me a gideon the ninth box that just gideon the ninth that would bring me incredible amounts of joy i need more art for this i need more merch i need everything basically just for these books and then obviously i need electo the ninth the second that it comes out um but yeah this was this month's unboxing i hope you guys enjoyed it next month's theme is a change your stars this is one of my most anticipated releases of the year if the book is what i think it is we have some wonderful fandoms as well including girls of paper and fire spinning silver skyward the invisible life of adi larue and city of brass i adore city of brass also pretty much all of the other ones actually skyward don't really care but I am excited about just Illumicrate being wonderful as always and just having a whole like all of the books lately have been queer and have LGBT like rap and it just brings me so much joy. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button at the same time so you don't miss out on any other videos from me. You can also click the little bell which gives you a notification when I put up a new video, which I do regularly. Just see me continue to haul until my house can hold no longer and my girlfriend says stop and then I'll probably still haul some more. But I hope this video finds you well. I hope you are in good health and in good places. Can you hear that I've been listening to some Hamilton lately? Anyway, I'm proud of you. You're doing great. I'll see you soon. Bye.